Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown-up gift givers and adult toy collectors. So today I'm finally opening my Christmas gift, which is the Shadow High and Rainbow High 2-pack of Luna and Sunny Madison. So as I'm opening this, I think I'd like to address some of the comments I had from my Rainbow High reboot, rebrand, rehash. I'm not sure what we're calling it. Everyone seems to be calling it different names. So one thing I thought was really interesting that a comment that I got is that, um, oh, also I'll put a link to this in the description below. It's an affiliate link, so if you use that to buy this or anything else you want, I'll get a small commission. It'll help the channel. And sometimes uh, this goes on sale for a really good price. So do the Storm Twins on Amazon, which I'll put a link to that too. Um, yeah, I'm still I'm still debating the Storm Twins because like they're they're mean in the show, but they look so cool. I don't know. Anyway, one thing that um, I thought was really interesting on a lot of the comments that I got was that while I said in my video on Rainbow High that they don't sell well here in the U.S., they apparently sell really well. Okay, let me open this. I'll talk first. They sell really well in Europe, like really well, that they can't apparently keep them off the shelves, whereas Monster High just kind of sits there. Um, whereas here, in my experience anyway, it's the opposite. Rainbow High just sits there forever and Monster High it's hard to find Monster High dolls, which by the way, if you're in the U.S., do your Walmarts no longer stock Monster High? Because most of my Walmarts, while well, they're online, they don't stock Monster High in the stores. Why is that? Does anyone know? Do your Walmarts, do your Walmarts also not stock them? It's just something I noticed, and someone else uh, mentioned that their Walmarts also hadn't been stocking them. I thought it was just my Walmarts, but maybe it's across the U.S. Let me know. I'm curious. Um, or if you live in Mexico and have a Walmart there, uh, do they stock up? This is hard to open. Maybe I shouldn't talk and open at the same time. Um, I'm just going to rip it. I'm just going to rip it. Which, you know, now that I did, I shouldn't have because that was a really nice, uh, that was nice, wasn't it? That was nice. I ripped it. It's over. That's too bad. Um, well, go me. Okay. Yeah. Well, one thought on that and that I asked a few people was like, they're Monster High dolls, like the ones in Europe. Is it just like the Core 5? Are there newer releases? And it seems like they're not newer releases. So they're the same Monster High dolls that have been there. So it makes sense while they're staying on, while they're like staying on the shelves because they don't have new dolls to be excited about, which, Mattel, why are you doing that? Let everyone enjoy Monster High. Stop being so like, just to the US. Come on, come on, Mattel. <laughs> Thank you for purchasing our product. I'm just ripping everything. Um, so it make it doesn't make sense because Europe is a lot larger than the U.S. So if they're selling, if Rainbow High is selling so well in Europe, why are they rebranding, rebooting, rehashing? Oh, yay! I did it. Go me. Oh, they're so pretty. Wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. I haven't. Oh, why so gelled though? <sighs> That's the thing I don't understand. Why does Rainbow High gel their hair so much? Okay, Sunny, I can kind of understand because she has curls, but... Like, they have, apparently, nylon hair, right? Which is, like, the best kind of hair for a doll, I think. And yet, they gel them. And, you know, people, i.e. me, don't have time to wash all my doll's hair. So, I just don't like that they gel them. I mean, maybe Luna kind of makes sense because it's wavy-ish, but, like... This is very gel, but she looks really pretty. Okay, I was interrupting my thought. So one thing about, um, that didn't make sense is that Europe is a lot larger than the US. So if their dolls are selling, why the rehash, rebrand, reboot, re whatever. 
And I was watching a video by Darling Dolls, and I'll put a link to their video in the description below, and they made up a really like interesting point that it costs a lot to produce these dolls. And it does. And maybe the financial, all the things that it takes to make the dolls isn't worth it, despite them selling well in Europe. Because maybe the cost of making them is so high. I've also seen speculation that Rainbow High is rebranding to give more focus to brats. Oh, wow, her nails? Wow. Um, yeah, I, I actually have several Shadow High dolls that I need to open, but this is the first Shadow High doll that I'm opening with these nails. Okay, these nails are really cool. Okay, <laughs> this is now maybe making me a little sad for the rebrand, even though I was more positive about it, but, um, wow. Especially because I think Shadow High is no more. Which I will do a video on that. I'm going to open all my Shadow High dolls that I've been like hoarding like a dragon. See, you don't open a Rainbow High doll for a while and you forget how amazing the quality is. I mean, I have Rainbow High dolls up there, but they're up on my shelf and I see them. But I don't like touch them unless I go up my stepladder and go to them. Other comments I got actually was on Slime. Yeah, I can understand why slime would be really messy for kids. Um, what I've done with my nieces and nephews and my friends' kids is we do a one and done. <laughs> we get their slime, we do it once, and then we're done. Um, but I can see how maybe that wouldn't work for everyone. And while um, the slime looks like maybe it actually might be nice to a touch, the glitter aspect, I wouldn't want. I don't like glitter anyway. I don't like the touch and feel of glitter and it gets everywhere. Yeah, but I think that'd be really hard to tell your kid, hey, let's just do the slime, not the glitter. <laughs> wow, that is some gelled hair, people. I don't know who the people are. The people somewhere. It doesn't look quite as good <laughs> out of the box, because the hair, just, why? I know why, to make it look nice, but you know what? Luna looks really cool, though. I, I wish they went gel her hair, because look at the back. <laughs> There's like two big strands there and there. And I think because of the way the gel is, it just doesn't quite look good out of the box. Granted, this could be because I was trying to, you know, rip her free. So that could be me. So I guess I think most of the comments were just about like how Europe has sells Rainbow High a lot. Like they're, they can't keep them on the shelves and then the slime aspect. Yeah, I, I will link you again, like tell you again to watch Darling Dolls video. Again, they explain things really well, just kind of about how we got to the reboot, rebrand, why maybe it happened. Um, yeah, they do a really good job talking about it. So much more better. That's not proper English or grammatically correct, one of them. Better than I did uh, or better than my speculations. So they have really great videos, by the way. I highly recommend you subscribe to them because they do amazing videos. Um. Oh, ooh. Also, speaking of um, Rainbow High, Reband, Reboot, Rehash, what are we calling it? People are calling it different things. I think I called it a reboot in my video. I don't even remember. <laughs> but everyone's calling it something different. But I think Poppy might be back. This is what it seems like Poppy will be back. Um, and if so, I'm excited. I like Poppy. I really hope she still has butterfly motifs somewhere. If so, I probably will get the slime version of her, honestly, if she has a butterfly motif. I don't know if she will, though. We only saw a snippet of her on uh, the little tease that Rainbow High did, so this is a beautiful sunny. All right, I will open this up, and we will look at these together, <laughs> and I'll be right back. Um... Oh, I have to say, holding Rainbow High dolls and handling Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls again, it is it is making me maybe maybe not quite as optimistic for the reboot, rebrand, rehash that I was in my previous video. But um, I will be right back. I was really excited. I opened them. They were free. And then I realized, oh yeah, they come with stands. See, this is how long it's been since I've opened a Rainbow High, Shadow High doll. That took a while to open all that. Yeah, that took a while. So they come with a yellow and grayish black comb, which, um, I wouldn't comb their hair, <laughs> especially not Sunny's. And then yellow, grayish black stands. Now the stands and combs are on the side of the box, 
But then uh, the base of the stands are like behind the dolls. I don't know how long that took me to open. A really long time. But here are the twins, Luna and Sunny. And they look really good. Obviously, Sunny, you know, has a lot more to her outfit. So she is, you know, probably better. But let's look at Luna because, you know, Luna surprised me. I didn't think I'd be this impressive Luna, but she has surprised me. So here is Luna's purse. It's like in a lunchbox style. It is plastic, but it is light gray with um, molded, like they're actually molded, X's, moons, and a darker gray. And they're molded on, which is so cool. Black handle, and then a black kind of ribbon feeling larger handle that says shadow shadow then you can open she says right yeah you can open the bag purse lunchbox style purse to put things in here yeah that's actually really nice here is luna so she has medium darkish gray skin her hair is a silver color she has molded on edges she does have some blushing black lips purple looking eyes of course she has the rooted eyelashes which are really nice her earrings are like this kind of iridescent circle within a triangle in silver at the end. She has wavyish curly hair that are in space buns with braids. Doesn't look as great in the back, but that could be me from trying to open the doll. A black t-shirt, a silver metallic looking bustier, right? That's what we call them. I've Googled the images <laughs> and her silver top could either be a bustier or a corset top. Let me know which one you think it is, but it really looks nice. And then this buckle, she has a black belt with this silver buckle. That's just really cool. And then on the bomber black belt, I like these chains. They're so neat. I don't know. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. See now this is making me <laughs> maybe again, not as positive for my video. Um, cause darn, even this simple outfit, which, I mean, it is much more simpler than Sunny's, it, it's actually really good. <laughs> like, the material is so good. Okay, so we have this plaid ruffled skirt, and then on the bottom, we have a black skirt underneath it. Like, this is really good, and I love these shoes. Black shoes with molded on shoelaces, which yes, that is, I think, a step down for Rainbow High and Shadow High, because they have had real laces, but they still look really cool. Ignore her silver hair, just chilling. And then silverish white soles. I don't know, these just look really neat. And I'm never gonna take these shoes off, so for me personally, I don't mind that they're molded on shoelaces and not real. Now, Something I am planning to add to Luna's style just to make her look um, like a little more is this jacket that I have from Robin Onyx because, I don't know, I just think maybe it would add something more. So let's see if it does. I'm hoping it does. Well, I, I like the jacket on her. Yeah, I think it adds more to her, honestly. What do you guys think? Something else, a highlight I mentioned when I was opening her are, check these nails. Which, now that I think about it, um, I do have a Shadow High doll when I reopened up nails like this. Emmy Batista, who was the vampire looking doll. But wow, these long, amazing silver metallic nails are amazing. Okay, let's look at Sunny now. So Sunny has this very elaborate hairstyle. That I don't wash my doll's hair anyway, but there's no way I would wash her hair because I wouldn't want this style to go away. I don't even know what to call it. It's in like interesting twists in the back and then we have these long curls. 
And Sunny has several barrettes, pink, purple, a white, and then a blue moon and a yellow sun on the other side. She has yellow edges, her yellow hair. She has a little bit of yellow eyeshadow, greenish blue eyes, soft pink lips, and this outfit <laughs> that has so much going on. Um, so I, she did have drawstrings that go to her hoodie, but they were in the back, so I just pulled them out front. And they are working drawstrings with yellow beads. Um, she has this teddy bear purse that he's flocked. Um, you can't put anything in it. He's just there for adorableness. This yellow jacket, and I think the hoodie is part of the jacket. Yeah, the hoodie is part of the jacket. So the white hoodie is part of her yellow jacket. And um, we have gold buttons. Got ruffles on the jacket. Wow, it's so nice. Darn you, Rainbow High. You're making me miss you. <laughs> when I was okay with you rebranding. Um, I'm going to keep her teddy bear backpack on. That was her comb falling. That's okay. But her back of the jacket has like this fun design. Okay. <laughs> The back of her jacket is even more amazing because it has an anime version of Sunny. Can you see that? Yeah. There's Sunny just smiling, showing her teeth. And then a sun, teddy bear, and this rainbow, the moon, stars. This is amazing. She has a white shirt that says rainbow. And then this um, patch, this like actual patch of this cat in a unicorn costume that has little like patched on safety pins, like not real safety pins, they're just part of the patch. It's hard to tell, but she has a plain white skirt, but then over the skirt, she has this plastic clear skirt with all kinds of different like fun kawaii designs. A sun, candy, stars, little anime figures. These, um, I guess leg warmers, these white leg warmers with rainbow pattern at the top. And then these kind of look like croc shoes, crocs a little bit, but not quite. But then with like, so you have little, oh, I don't know what you call them, kawaii like little things you put on these yellow shoes and then black heels. Oh, and her earrings, my gosh. And we have a purple, light purple star design with a little shooting star in the middle and then a gold ball that, um, it's from the hanging purple star. Oh, they're so cute. I seriously was okay with um, Rainbow High rebanding. I was. I was totally okay with it. You saw my video. I had a video on it. And now, oh, and then there's pockets. There's pockets on her jacket. Oh, Rainbow High. <laughs> I was totally okay with the reboot. Now I don't know. Look what you do to me. It's, it's, uh, it's sad. It's, it's not sad. It's just, I was okay with it. And then, um, you know, then I had to open my Christmas present. <laughs> and now I'm not sure if I'm as okay with it anymore. Now again, I did add the jacket onto my Luna, but I think she looks really cool that way. These dolls are truly amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Um, even if I didn't have put the jacket on Luna, I actually think she looks really good and has more detail than I realized. And, um... <sighs> I still think that if Rainbow High needed to rebrand to make money, that that makes sense. You know what? These are amazing. These are amazing. Like, they're really, really beautiful dolls. And, um... It's just... Okay, it really is making me hope that Rainbow High MGA will make uh, collector dolls for their adult toy collectors. For, But I don't know. I don't know if they will. This looks so good. Oh, Rainbow High. <laughs> well, I guess good thing I made my video before I opened these, huh? 
um, because now I'm not so sure if I stand by everything I said in that video because these are really good and their quality is amazing. Like even again for Luna who has more simple clothes, her clothes are still really good quality. Um, you know, if you really like Rainbow High and Shadow High and the quality it is now, get these dolls now. <laughs> get them now or or wait for them to go on sale. I think they're maybe $45 on Amazon right now, but um, they can go as low as $35. So you can wait for that. Um, you know, honestly, I think their price was $60. And they are way better quality than let's say another brand for another company that does like $60 two pack holiday special dolls. Who could it be? I don't know. These are much better quality than those dolls. Do I have any of those two pack dolls? No, but I've seen other YouTubers review them. These are much better quality. These are actually worth $60, but again, they usually go on sale on Amazon and I honestly highly, highly, highly recommend them. And now I'm kind of lamenting Rainbow High <laughs> and where it's going now. And oh, but I'm really glad I have these because these are gorgeous. Like I really love these. I highly recommend them. Let me know what you think about Rainbow High <laughs> and the reboot rebrand. And Shadow High and do you think Shadow High is over? Um, just let me know in the comments what you think about this and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up. Please share with your friends. Please subscribe for more videos if you haven't already. And you know if you do like the rebrand and reboot that's okay too and I think I'm now a little less positive toward it because of opening these but I'm I'm hopeful. I'm still gonna stay hopeful. <laughs> so um yeah, I will see you in the next video. And remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay young at heart. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!